What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Carnivores YouTube channel and this is going to be a quick little video of my man Travis is here in his garage. While I am here, I just wanted to show a little bit of appreciation to why he's a carnivore. Clearly, but they're, they're carnivores for Toyotas. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see. They got Lexus, Lexus, Toyota, Scion, Lexus, 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 Subaru. That's a half a Toyota. Half a Toyota. <laughs> so they're like brothers. Where do you want to start, man? Let's uh uh we can start with the SC. SC. You have definitely seen the SC on the channel by now. Uh 2K20 rally. Yes. What up, what up? And I absolutely love this thing because I'm a 90s fanatic. And the curves and the simplistic design on these things just do it for me man me too so what can you tell me about it well the, oh. i i got this car by accident i Whoa. i was trying to do a celica like gt4 build i wanted to get like a celica oh. swap the motor yeah, yeah, to the yeah. all-wheel drive yeah and so i was looking hard for celicas and this popped up and i was like well let me just go look at it right I gotta yeah. just go check it out I've never driven one so we went and got it or went and drove it and I was like, I kind of like this. It's uh, got tank coilovers, really wide wheels. Yeah. Um, it drives awesome. And yeah, it does. I've driven it. It's great. And so I just kind of like, it was a good deal too. So <laughs> I, had to, I had to get it and I've been falling in love with it more and more. So, Ever since. Yeah. Body's a little rough on it. Ah, it's whatever, man. But uh, she's got it where it counts. You said 250,000? And then one UZ, that's only like, what, a quarter of its life? Oh yeah, yeah, it does go for a million. Yeah. So, I read you know, I read up on these one UZs mm. when I got this, because I never really paid much attention to them. Mm. Um, Bulletproof. Well, Toyota spent $400 million developing this motor in the, late, in the late 80s. Whoa. I mean, there was nothing like it at the time, a dual overhead cam V8. Four liter. You know, yeah. Toyota never had an engine like this and not many people did. Yeah. So this kind of like, I think it came out in like 87 or 88 when they like completed it. And then yeah. the first car that got it was the LS 400. Okay. Lexus's first car in Toyota in North America. And then this one is uh, the newer variant that has variable valve timing. Well, we got oh. lots of room for uh, activity zone. You can relocate the battery and you can have a yeah, yeah little, maybe one there and, and one there. Yeah. Do something like that. That'd be dope, actually. <laughs> That'd be sick as hell. Do that. Now, of course, they have bolt-on supercharger kits that you can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, All right. there she is. Well, you got plenty of cars to talk about, so yep. let's let's move on. Uh, so this is my little brother Austin's uh, FRS. I'm digging the, the color scheme. Yep, white on red. Um, he got this with like, I think it had 13,000 miles on it. Right on. It, it had super low miles. It was basically a brand new car. Um, you know, it's, we put Tain, Tain coils on this as well. So we mm. got two Toyotas with Tains. Mm. Um, these are wheel, we, we spent a long time getting the specs for the wheels and I think we've just got them perfect. Like the fitment on this is just- They look good perfect. to me. Um, Even the tire, uh, Little tire stretch, stretch so no, no rubbing. This thing handles amazing. I mean, this is that's what they're for. It's light is all can, you know, super light. And I'm very happy about the tail light choice and keeping it red. Yeah, the red on red is I sick. Yeah, yeah. And these are the aftermarket ones that do the yeah. The, oh, really? Yeah, these are aftermarket tail lights. Nice. So, nice, nice. he wants to do a duck bill trunk spoiler. And, Not uh, too bad. Like maybe a more aggressive diffuser. You gonna keep it red or want oh, a carbon yeah. fiber? Oh, probably carbon. He, he's got a little axle back, so it's loud. 
Yeah, nice. Loves to hear him, hear himself. Nice. All right, you got to tell me more about the MR2. Okay, so MR2, the 92. Yes. It, was, it did not run. It was sitting in a field. All right. Um, I did a preliminary buff cut on the paint. It was uh, flat. It looked like a matte flat red. Yeah. Eh, kind of like this, maybe a little worse. Yeah. But um, needed a fuel pump. Um, and if you know anything about MR2s, the fuel pump is uh, the, under the, uh, above the tank, correct? It is. It is the worst thing you have to do on these cars. Because <laughs> the hole underneath of the car has skid plates, so you have to take all the skid plates off. It's like 40 little 10 millimeters. Good long. lord! Then you have to drop all the bracing that holds the tank up. There's um, the, the lines, the, the filler neck is actually from here. Yeah. Through the engine bay. Yeah. And those are usually like seized on. Yeah. So most guys just cut them. <laughs> I was actually lucky enough to get it off without having to cut any of the, Good the Lord. fuel line or the filler neck line. Um, move my hoodie. Let's, let's see what I'm oh. Yeah, yep. yeah. Right there on the, right on the test track. So, yeah, these lines right here. Mm. The, the, the braided one is like a return. Yeah. And then the, the one with the little scrunchies is the, the filler. So thankfully I was able to get those off without uh, much headache. Uh, well, <laughs> thankfully I was able to get them off. Yeah. Yeah, the headache part is... Uh, How many gray hairs would you... Dude, it was rough. Would Plus, you uh, value that job? <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on anybody. God, oof. Have, you, um, have you used the trunk as a bench to work on it I yet? didn't need to. Well, I didn't need to, thankfully. <laughs> yep. Um, what happened so right here, though? Put a new fuel pump. Is there a stripe on this or something? No, that's tape. That's like tape residue. So all the panels are, a lot of the panels had tape residue on them. I was able to get it off. But this one, I have no idea what happened here. Like, it's just like the paint just chipped off in little, it looks like bullet holes, but there's no, yeah, there's no dent bullets. there. So I've got, um, a brand new one of those inside the seats are leather which is not factory these are from a turbo oh um and yeah so i've got the door panels i've got a brand new shift boot and then that inside is all good to go stereo doesn't work it isn't the prettiest but it works it's got t-tops t-tops don't leak eh, not bad <laughs> i haven't <laughs> Look, I know the T-top life, man. Yeah, yeah no, they, so, the T-top's leak. It's just part of it's part of the fun. Yeah, but it's not bad. For what? That's I mean. a tiny T-top. I'm just used to the Camaros freaking They're massive, right? Massive T-top, and then the yeah, vet yeah, is driver's... all one big old giant Targa, and that thing isn't. I mean, it ain't heavy, but it's awkward, you know. Hop in, Hop in it. Yeah. Uh oh. With the top off. So here, I've always wanted to drive one of these things, so. Well, listen, I've got the clutch. So the next thing to do is I gotta put the new clutch master cylinder in. Yeah. And then she should be driving. So right now I don't have a clutch. Oh yeah. All 90s cars I fit perfectly in. They were made for you. Except maybe the Miata. Although I love the Miata, I can't fit. I can barely fit in it. Believe it or not, these have a ton of room inside. Yeah, this is actually nice. But they're two seater. They don't have to fill up the space. You know, like, <laughs> this freaking um, curved window is awesome. I couldn't imagine having to replace one. It probably would yeah. have been out. Especially these days. Oh, I forgot I had these funky glasses on. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on. You think the. Uh, FRS is going to be worth more money in the future? Well, I had a feeling it would be. One, because Sign's not a brand anymore. Yeah. And this was 2013, so this is the first year they did them. Yeah. It only has like 50,000 miles on it. Yeah. So it's really low mileage. That's one of the reasons why he wanted to get the Forester, was just to have like a daily, you know, something to bomb around and not just, you know, put miles on that and kind of hurt it. Exactly. Um, well, Foresters are great, so. Yeah, I used to have them. Blue one, I love. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's not very tight. I might have to help him out with that. Um, yeah, I had a blue one. This one, this is the 04 body style, which a lot of people like better. Um, 
I think it looks better. I had the 06 or 07 because mine was 07. Yeah. With the more butt nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love it though. All right, well, then tell me about this. All right, so my dad used to have a 2003 uh, M3. Yeah. Convertible. He wanted a convertible. He always wanted an M3. He, they're the best looking cars, you know, to him. And so we had one. He got to really enjoy it. Um, but it was way, it, it ended up being a little too harsh for him, like yeah. the ride quality. Once again, I got to compliment y'all on y'all's fitment capabilities. Like, the rear tire looks so good. <laughs> yeah, so we went pretty light, aggressive on the front, just so, because he drives all the time. I don't yeah, want yeah, to be yeah. like rubbing fenders and have to pull and, and you know. We want it to be practical, but also look sick. So yeah. the rear is really aggressive. It's like a 10 and a half with a 275. Oh. And it's got a little bit of a stretch, which is perfect. So it doesn't rub. The fronts are, are more conservative, um, but you can go full lock and it doesn't rub. Yeah. So we found these, this is a 07. Yeah. I think it was 06 or 07. They updated the, ta the, the tail lights, the headlights. Mm. The, the transmission went to a six speed instead of a five speed. Okay. So they did like a refresh. So the 06, 07, whenever they did that switch, those are worth way more than the 02, 03, 04. Yeah, because didn't uh, Jeremy Clarkson say that they were boring. they're the most boring car ever made? Yeah, well, I, I would say in, or the in Or did he say form, stupidest car ever made? I don't, I don't remember. He said boring. But people are starting to realize that these weren't meant to be like sports, sports cars. cars. They're yeah. like Grand Tour cars, mm -hmm. you know, like Aston Martin type highway you know road trip comfy the motor is i mean the the one you see and then this variant is so smooth it's so smooth and it's got a lot of power i think it's like 325 horsepower wow and it's just and believe it or not the stock exhaust is as loud as mine with the aftermarket uh oh wow axle back on it and okay. of course once you put the vc coils and some you know, real wheels. It changes the car. Oh, it, it, it yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually handles pretty decently. Still kind of, you know, it could get better as far as hand. It's not as sharp as the my SC. Yeah. But it's the, well, the SC definitely has a lower center of gravity than this. True. And especially with this being a hardtop. Yeah, a lot convertible. Of there's a lot of extra weight. Yeah. I'm at the flat of seat back. <laughs> oh. Oh, my head didn't barely fit in here. Yeah, I usually drop it down and, you know. It smells great in here. This isn't too bad. Oh, there are rear seats in here? There are rear seats. Why? Just so you can put your groceries inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the Mark Levinson stereo. Um, and then if you notice, there's a, a USB cord over there. Uh, somewhere yeah on your side so i've got a um i've got one in my truck too it's a little little box that plugs into the factory stereo where the cd oh. normally goes and it converts it to usb so you can plug your iphone into the stereo okay and it sounds legit hell yeah i think one of the best factory sounding stereos i wouldn't know shit about that so <laughs> I like I like stereos. Oh, oh button here. Hey, this is the same as the LS four hundred. Oh heck yeah, man! All right, and then you got two two GXs. GXs. Yep, so I got a 04. That's a 03. This one, my dad's had this for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, it just it's they're like the they're just the best trucks, man, and they're. Well, the values have gone up now, but when we got them, they were dirt cheap. Yeah? Yeah. what you get yours for? I feel like I'm like say. Because you couldn't get it for half first. I got it for half what I should have got it for. Oh, okay. So I got mine for 5000 Five k? You couldn't even you couldn't find one for oh. close to that. These yeah, days. these are... So from what I understand now, it's the, the uh, Forerunners and... Highlanders, even the ones with 250,000 miles, 
you can trade him in and get 10k off of it or off of the car maybe a forerunner the highlanders are so this is basically like the same chassis as the, as the 04 forerunner okay um you know, these are body on frame trucks basically yeah so they're heavy duty um the v8s they just run forever it's crazy what is it a 3uz or a 2uz in this i forget what they call it it's the 4.7 Four like seven. And all the tundras and the gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's, it's they come with air ride suspension, so you can adjust the height for towing. Like you can drop, wow. the drop raise it, control the stiffness. You know, if you want it more sportier and more comfy, you have the dial in there. And um, dude, they're just beasts, man. They have a full time all wheel drive. Just, they're just sweet. they're just sweet and, yeah uh, and they'll drive forever forever mine's got 225,000 dad's is almost 300 it's like two I think it's 290 something damn yeah I haven't gotten a car to 300 yet hell yeah well thank you for showing me around you're welcome how's the car look looks great oh we'll, we'll get to that that's yeah, we'll do yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah this is dope I like it and I want to stay up to date on that thing and good. maybe drive it when it's done. Well, if I didn't have to work today, I literally need to go change so I can go to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have to work today, um, we just got to put that clutch master cylinder in, bleed it real quick, yeah. and uh, it should drive. As long as the clutch works. Just let me know when it's done. The clutch actually works. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 sure. I haven't got that sure. far yet. I haven't got that far. The, shift, it, the shifter moves and goes into gear, so I think everything should be good. It's just uh, there's no clutch right now. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed Travis's Garage. And uh, hopefully I can do a little bit more of these, like, because my there's nothing that interesting about my driveway. And I know there's a lot of other people out here that, that we would consider carnivores. And this is a perfect example. Like, these people obviously love cars. And that's what we're about. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Join us on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. He's on the Facebook group. You know, give him some compliments about the cars and the work that he's doing. He's also detailing Atlas. Atlas Detail Garage, right? Check him out. Uh, he should be on the channel, if not already, by the time this comes out. So, y'all have a good one. Peace.